Welcome to Cisco Small Business Video On Demand Series. Today an SG500X series switch is getting a voice VLAN configuration with quality of service set, six ports for phones and data, a beefy 10 gig uplink port to connect to a core or distribution layer passing both voice and data, bonus, a port configured for a lobby phone only. All this in under three minutes. Let's get started. My PC is connected to port 7 on the switch and I have statically assigned my address 192.168.1.10. The switch is at its default IP address of 192.168.1.254 and is pingable. I put the address into the web browser to connect to the switch. I have upgraded the firmware on the switch and changed the default password but other than that the switch is at a default configuration. I will be working on a powerful but simple to configure SG500X 48 port PoE switch. The firmware that I'm using is right there. If we look at the default configuration we see a default of VLAN 1. It is the only VLAN that is configured on the switch. Checking our port VLAN membership, we see that all the ports are in a trunk state with VLAN 1 as untagged traffic. Over on our Voice VLAN properties page, we set our Voice VLAN to be 100, and our quality of service settings are here, all values available, and we will accept the default values. A message appears letting us know that we will be advertising our Voice VLAN, which is what we want. We have success. Over on the VLAN settings page, we see VLAN 100 has been statically created, but is in a disabled state. I have devices connected to ports, but there is VLAN 100 is not applied to any ports yet. Going to our port to VLAN page, we change our VLAN to 100 and click go to bring up the state of VLAN 100 on ports. We see it's all excluded on the 6th ports that we are connecting our phones to, we tag VLAN 100. On our lobby phone, which is port 10, we will untag VLAN 100. And on our uplink port, we will tag it. Hit apply, and we have success again. Checking the port VLAN membership page, we see that our six phones have VLAN 100 tagged. Our Lobby phone was untagged and our uplink port is tagged for VLAN 100. Finally, we need to go over to the interface settings page and change the lobby phone port from a trunk to an access port, giving a basic level of security, only allowing a device connected to the port access to VLAN 100. Change it to access and click apply, and we are done. Six phones with PCs, one lobby phone. An uplink port configured all with quality of service applied. Stop that timer under three minutes. It's that easy. We see 100 is now enabled with the devices connected to those ports. Thank you for watching.